Welcome all of you. Today I am here with the spirit of Mr. Wolfgang Ernst Pauli. It is great to meet you all. Honestly I was not sure if I was going to agree with this interview, but I am happy that I did. I hope I can share with you all some enlightenment about myself and chemistry itself. And I am pretty sure we are all glad as well. Why thank you. Now let's get on with the show. Now Mr. Pauli. You were born the 25th of April 1900 Vienna, Austria am I correct? What was it like growing up? I was brought up into an unsurprisingly intellectual atmosphere. Part of which was because my father, Wolfgang Joseph Pauli, was a well-known physician and professor of chemistry while my godfather, Ernst Mach, was a physicist and philosopher. In addition to them, my father got junior high school teacher, Hans Adolf Bauer as a tutor. But other than that it was what you call a normal childhood. And were these some of the reasons why you became intrigued with mathematics and natural sciences? Actually yes. It was my tutor who introduced me to Einstein's general theory of relativity. And because of that I always hid some of Einstein's papers under my school desk when I went to Dublin in gymnasium. Schoolwork was boring so I never paid much attention in class. But this didn't hold me back since I graduated from the gymnasium with distinction. Well then, someone sure was a smart cookie. Did you have any clue what you were going to do after you graduated? Or did you just go with the flow? I kind of had a clue what I was going to do with education but after that, I had no clue. After graduating from the gymnasium, I attended the Ludwig Maximilian University of Munich. And while being there I would sometimes get bored and so in order to keep me entertained I wrote two articles over the theory of relativity. While you were writing articles over the theory of relativity, all I was doing is being lazy and watching television in college. A shame, but you don't want to hear about my life. This is about you. Now if I am not mistaken, you held some important positions in the world of natural sciences, correct? Yes, I have. Most were difficult and others even more difficult. But all in all the positions were fun. Would you mind sharing with us some of these positions you held? Not at all, let's see. I was appointed as Neo Bohr's assistant in Frodingen. During 1928 I was appointed as professor of theoretical physics at the Federal Institute of Technology in Zurich. And in 1940 I was appointed to the chair of theoretical physics at Princeton. Oh? I would have never thought you would have met the Neil Bohr and be his assistant. It seems that you had a very calm life then. No. I wish I could say that about my life. But I did have my hardships. You wouldn't mind sharing with us a bit of your personal life, would you? Why not, the year before I was appointed as professor of theoretical physics. My mother had committed suicide. Oh. I am sorry. That must have been very hard to go through. Yes, but, I will not forget the memories I have of her. But let me continue. The following year my father married my evil stepmother and let me say she was not the best mother in the world. After that I left the Roman Catholic Church the May of 1929, and married Kath Margarethi Dipner. But the marriage was not successful. So we divorced in Vienna November 29, 1930. Four years later in April, I remarried to Fra Nasca Bertram. She supported me to the bitter end, and I am oh so thankful of her. What an intriguing personal life you had, Mr. Pauli. And finally, before your death on December 15, 1958 in Zurich, Switzerland, you founded the Pauli Exclusion Principle. Do you mind sharing to us what that is all about? The exclusion principle states that no two electrons in an atom can have the same four number quantum numbers. Well, thank you Mr. Pauli for joining us today. I hope you have a good rest of the afterlife. And thank you for telling us about yourself. Until we meet again I suppose. <laughs>